Good day and welcome to Gaming with the Colonel. I'm Sean Moran and what I've got set up on the board again uh, today is Sam Grant. No real rhyme or reason why, I just uh, decided that uh, I wanted to play it. Um, so and what I've got is I'm going to play the probably the whole campaign. Um, my intent is to do 1862 uh, and you can see it starts there in uh, February. Um, on the turn track here, of course it's mud, and I'm going to see if I can do the whole thing right to 1864 and see what happens from there. So one of the things about this game is it talks about initiative and what you're doing, obviously, if you're playing with an opponent, um, is that you, you, you flip over your, your headquarters and you put in bids, how many, how many headquarters you're going to activate, because that's how you, you need to activate headquarters to, to move units in this game, and... And then the person with the most, let's call it bids, because they've activated so many headquarters, um, you know, get to go first, and ties go to the Confederates. But given the fact that I'm playing by myself, what I generally do is just roll the dice. Blue, obviously, for the Union, and uh, gray for the uh, the Confederates. So the Union gets 10, and the, the Confederates get 8, so the Union's going to go first. Okay, opening move is probably going to go pretty quick here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my um, Supreme Commander for the Union side. So he's got a uh, he's got a strength of four. That means I can move four uh, units. It is the weather is mud, so I can't move that far anyways. Not that I was going to do that. What I am going to do is do a river crossing. And what I'm going to do, let me think about this. I'm going to move all four of these guys here across the river. So that's the strategic move. He then goes like this. And I believe he could move to, again, if he wanted to. So I think I might move him, uh, or I think I'll move him like that. Um, Yeah, eh, no, forget that. He will stay there. That's what he will do. Okay, uh, we'll activate this leader. Who is this leader? should know this. This would be nice where they actually had the... Uh, is this Halleck? This might be Halleck Rare. What, Missouri? Uh, yeah, I think that's Halleck. No, Iron Town. So that is Pope. Okay, so we're going to activate Pope. Um... And we're just going to move Pope's guys one hex into the woods. And Pope was at strength two, so now he's going to go to strength one. Okay. What else we got going on here? Let's do a move down here. We'll activate... Oh, interesting note, uh, the, the Union... Supreme Leader cannot command, or cannot strategically move or whatever command, the uh, Army of Ohio until like 1862. There must be something going on with that, but that's kind of interesting. Okay, so Army of Ohio. Um, here's another thing to note, that the range of the Union uh, leaders is only one hex around them, whereas the Confederates get two hexes. Uh, so that's, that's interesting. So we will activate Ohio. We are going to... What do we got going on here? We got a river. It's a minor river. We're going to move one there. And we'll move. Oh, what are we going to do? I guess we're going to move two there. We'll move that artillery guy there. We'll move this guy there. And we'll move this guy over here, and we'll reduce, and we'll move him into there. So that will be the total Union move. There's no combat, so we don't need to go into that. So we've moved to supply phase, and everybody is in supply because they all of the hexes can trace line of supply. So that would end that turn. So then we would go back to um, 
Oh, sorry, we're not in... I shouldn't say that. We're still in the campaign turns. No, we're not into a month turn being done yet. So, I'm going to roll again see who's going to go first. In this case, it's going to be the Confederates. And we are still in mud. The Confederates are going to pass. We're not going to do anything. So then the Union gets to go. And I've got to decide if I want to keep whittling down the Union's headquarters to maneuver them. How many guys could I get in there to attack? In mud. Across. Well, there's no bridge or anything like that. Marsh. Bridge or Ford. Actually, I think it's the minor rivers that can do that. You know what? Let me check on that. So it says you can attack one in mud across a minor river, but I don't want to do that. What I think I will do, though, is I will... do some more strategic movement. Actually, I don't think I need to do that if it's these guys all in. Uh, maybe it is. Okay. So three units. Let's do rail movement. So I can move three of these guys. Hmm, where am I going to go? Probably down that way to Louisville. Or do I want to send them into Cairo? No, it's too hard to get across there. Yeah, okay, we're going to move all these guys to... to where? Let's move them to... Lebanon. Okay. Loses another step, and... I'm going to move him one over like that. Okay, again, nothing else to do. And so I'll roll it again just to be consistent, but I don't, I think we're going to be doing pass passes here. So yeah, it's the Union gets to go first again. Okay, so The Union gets to go first again, and I just don't see us doing anything else here. I guess I could do some more strategic movement, maybe. Is that the right thing to do? Hmm. Yeah, maybe it is. Let's do that. Strategic movement. This guy's going to go across to... Why would he do that? Not sure exactly. We're going to go across to Belmont there. And we are going to rail move this guy into Cairo and move him down. And I guess we're going to move him like that. Okay, so that's it. The Confederates, they're not going to do anything. We're going to do this. Again. Should they do con... Nah, we're not doing anything. Okay, Confederates get to go again. This time they're going to pass. And this time the, the Union's going to pass. Which means... We move on to March, uh, which again is another mud month, but it also means we look at replacements. So the the Union gets uh, 10 replacement points, and the Confederates get 8. So, we'll to look at what we're going to build up there. So I'm going to think about that and see what we do with that. Okay, replacements. Um, so, we're definitely going to do some headquarters stuff. So, the... We already figured out the USA in 1861 gets 10 replacement steps. And what does a USA headquarters cost? For one step, it is... Holy cow, it's three. It costs three. Hmm. So, we'll go one. So Sorry, that's three. He's still okay. Three. Hmm. I have another headquarter. Six. Hmm. Tennessee, huh? Hmm. 
we should do some other ones. What does the infantry cost? Infantry costs one step. So six, uh, let's go. Yeah, these guys need to be built up. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Ten. Okay. That was the uh, Union. The Confederates get eight. Let's check there. What does it cost them for their headquarters for the Confederacy is step costs two. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we'll go two, four, six, and That's it. Six. I got two more points to do. So, garrisons cost one, cavalry cost one, infantry cost one. So, I've got two points. We might as well go one. Mm -hmm. What do we got going on here, guys? Let's get Forrester. We'll bring him up. Two. Okay, we are done replacements. Uh, still another mud turn. I think I'll play this one uh, on my own and uh, come back as I get a little further along. We'll see how that goes. Okay, just thought I'd do another quick sort of update. Things are moving along. I actually kind of screwed something up at the beginning. I, I set up for 1862 thinking I was setting up for 1861, but I wasn't, which is probably better anyways because I think... 61 would have probably been quite boring, but uh, we're definitely out of the mud. Um, we're into June, and I think we're going to be on to July here pretty quick. Uh, what's happened is uh, the Confederates have taken advantage um, of this area over here by Louisville and have actually taken it. Um, the Union taken a lot of losses, but the Union's got some some good forces over here so i think they're going to make a play this turn because the confederates can't do anything they're out of they're out of uh, command points i don't want to deteriorate my command points my headquarters to nothing and have to rebuild them so so the union is going to get one good turn here and then uh then we'll go on you know they'll we'll uh, do some replacements and then we'll go on to july and, and see how it goes from there so um anything can happen once you get to the battle board and that's kind of what's what's happened um in terms of these this game and the losses and that sort of thing so so uh, i'm gonna carry on we'll see what happens so after we got onto the battle board i decided to just put the confederates in reserve and one guy in the center just to avoid an immediate route i guess uh and i just lined up all the unit forces in the center anyways because what's going to happen is my first turn i'm going to uh well i mean the the union gets to go first they're going to go like this let's let's do it Right, they've engaged uh, on the battle board, um, and that's their turn. Um, I guess the first thing you have to do is roll morale for this guy, which will be interesting, because if I roll that, what is the die roll for morale? Hang on a second here. Morale 7.2. Yeah, this will determine if it's a route right away. Hang on a sec here. So, if I roll a 1 or a 3 for the Confederates, what would it do? <laughs> they have to disengage, which I think immediately forces a route. So then what's going to happen here, My, I was hoping to try to get the Confederates out of here, but what's going to happen is the cavalry... No, nobody's engaged, so there is no route. Right, yeah, there's no attrition because nobody's engaged. So, these guys have to... Retreat, and I guess I'll do I'll do something like this. I guess uh, the 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 face down um, Union block is where the battle's going. Uh, so then these guys can regroup. Oops. And I will go. Yeah, I'll go something like that. What I'm... Ah, jeez, butterfingers here. 
So what I've done is I've actually taken Columbus, which is a uh, good job for the Union. All right, I'm going to carry on. Okay, so last point about that that last little sort of battle thing is, uh, so Columbus was a fortress, so I, I could have actually, you know, gotten obviously double defense and that, that sort of thing, but I didn't think I wanted to do that anyways because Columbus wasn't worth anything in terms of victory points. So, and you know what, I probably would have still lost anyways, but I've retained some forces. Now, I've, actually, I set it up properly in terms of they were supposed to be on their centers, but uh, I think I did it the, the right way anyways. They... They would have had to roll for the morale, disengage, and then that would have forced uh, the uh, a route, but uh, without pursuit fire is really what I'm talking about here. Okay, now I'm going to carry on with it. Okay, I'm not as uh, far along as I'd hoped to be. I'm actually on uh, September of 1862, and I think I'm actually going to call it here just because I actually got something new in the mail, and I'm probably going to do a bit of an unboxing and, and start playing that. And I also got an old Avalon Hills uh, Turning Point Stalingrad that I started reading, and I kind of want to get that to the table, too. I've been on a bit of a hiatus, and I want to start getting back into games and uh, doing some videos. So, um, Sam Grant. Uh, in the end, uh, over here um, next to Corinth, the, the Union actually was able to, to make some, some really good gains, um, uh, but they were not able to take Memphis. Uh, I think if we counted the points right now, the Union would probably be, be winning. Um, not by the margin that they're probably supposed to. Uh, and I realized, too, that I, I, I was making some good gains over here with the Confederates. Uh, really good gains. And then I started advancing towards Cincinnati, and I realized that that's kind of stupid because there's a major river there, and the Confederates can't cross major rivers, so I don't know what I was thinking. There's a ford right here as well. I was able to get across, and I was able to... Uh, uh, take, what is this, Frank, oh, Frankfort, <laughs> look at that, anyways, um, so I probably should have brought these guys back and, and tried to defend the line there, uh, further over by Savannah and Corinth and whatnot, um, what I will say is, San Grant, still an enjoyable game, and I like the historical aspect of it, I think, more than, more than anything, and when you, it's about getting the forces to the right spot on the map, trying to get the the as many counters or uh, blocks as you can get across the hex sides, and having reinforcements next to them. Much like you know Napoleon, um, where where I first encountered that, where you got to have those forces ready to be able to come in as reserves, right? Um, I don't think I had one fort assault. Uh, I don't think it went went very well, but but anyways, uh, just about having those 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 reinforcements to, to keep feeding the battle. That's where this really happens because you can go in with thinking, ah, yeah, the Union's going to come in here and, you know, kick some ass type thing, but that's not what happened over here in Kentucky. That's for sure. And I had a fair decent uh, force of Union uh, guys in there. But, yeah, I mean, what's going to happen here is we'll get a couple of passes and the Union will get more uh, points and be able to bring in more guys and the Confederates will continue to have less uh, less troops to be able to bring in. Anyways, um, enjoyed it. I'm actually reading, still reading a Civil War book right now, and they just happen to be talking about sort of this this area and the names on the map, so that was kind of enjoyable. So I I look forward to playing this again, but I'm going to tidy it up and put something else on the board here, I think. But uh, Sam Grant, still uh, still a good game. And I, and I do one of these days when I've got forever and a day, which is not anytime soon, I would like to... Uh, with this one and Bobby Lee. I know not side by side, but you know, maybe on the same board so you can do that play together and uh, do those strategic moves back and forth uh, between the two games, which would be kind of fun. All right, that's it for me. Take care.